Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, I'm excited this morning. I got this Mods Gourmet Coffee Raspberry Chocolate. Haven't tried it before. Sounds good though. And it's one of my favorite flavors is ras raspberry chocolate. <clears throat> So, and then of course I have the white chocolate raspberry creamer that I'm going to put in it. But chocolate caramel goes good with the chocolate raspberry as well. So, I don't know what the latte part is about because it looks like a black cup of coffee to me. But we'll find out. So today, um, it's only going to be 74. I'm excited about that. So, I don't know what happened. I mean, we didn't have a storm blow through, but apparently a cold front came through, which I'm happy about. So, I might venture out to Aldi's today. There's a couple of Aldi finds that I thought I might like. So, I'll go check those out, and hopefully they still have them, because... Usually they get so much in stock-wise, and when it's gone, it's gone. So we'll see. We'll see if I get out there. It's not anything real expensive, and I don't need any food. So, But I might pick up a salad kit, but I'm not sure. Because I think they have those on sale this week as well. So yeah, grocery prices are out of this world, they're out of control, and hopefully we get some relief from that pretty soon before we end up in a depression, which would not be a good thing at all. I know our, um, our parents lived through that, and my mom's, you know, told me stories about the depression and what people had to do to get by and it's pretty scary stuff. I think we've been blessed as baby boomers and um, sequential generations since then. I think we've really been blessed so far as far as um, you know the economies go. Even though, what was that in, 80, in the 80s, where we had that, that huge economic downturn? I don't remember exactly what year that was, but I do believe it was in the 80s. I didn't pay that much attention to things back then, because, um, you know, I was raising my family, and we did have enough money to buy what we needed, so I really didn't pay too much attention to that. But later on, as your income gets smaller and the prices blow up and get bigger, it does get a bit concerning. So yeah, it's black coffee. I don't see where the latte is. It smells great. It's really hotter. I'd give it a try, just black. Well, okay, I'm going to give it a go. No, it's just black coffee. So I will make my own latte by adding the latte part. There we go. I have no idea. This is a medium roast coffee. But, of course, some coffees are stronger than others. I like some dark roast, but I find those to be on the bitter side, except for Folgers Black Silk. That makes a really good dark roast coffee because it's very smooth, so it's okay. Looks like a rabbit. Okay. <laughs> so cheers. Let me try this out. It's good. It's good. I don't taste too much raspberry, but I can always add some raspberry syrup because I always keep that on hand. 
I like to keep the raspberry and the peach on hand. And I also have some sugar-free chocolate um, syrup. And then in the fall, I like to keep some sort of a fall flavor syrup on hand. So, and of course, I like hazelnut too. I like a lot of different coffees, and that's why I have all these different flavors and different coffees. And I think it's a fun thing to try them all out. And, but I do have my favorites, and of course you guys all know, and I only have three of these left, the Chocolate Raspberry Barissimo from Aldi's is the best. I was really disappointed that this year they didn't offer that in packs. It only came in a, uh, in a Valentine pack and there were only like two of them in there so I was pretty disappointed but maybe they'll bring it back one of these days I would be willing to even buy that in in uh, coffee grounds um, and then because with this little coffee maker I can also use that it has um, this cup that I can put coffee grounds in. So, yeah, I like this coffee maker. It's Thamyworth's. Kind of a weird name, but I, I like it. And it makes iced coffee and hot coffee. And no, I'm not affiliated with Thamyworth's. It's coming in, a, in the door. It's just a coffee maker I bought and that I like. So, okay, well, we'll see if I'm going to go to all these or not. I haven't made that decision yet. And uh, I polished my nails. Well, I'll tell you, garden work really takes a toll on your hands. Um, but I usually wear gloves. But then a lot of times when I'm out there pulling weeds, the gloves aren't handy. They're in the garage and I'm in the yard. So, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, it's nice to get your hands in the soil without gloves. At least I find that to be a nice thing. You just can dig around in the soil. And in the boxes I have, there's no worms or anything in there. So um, I don't mind that at all. But it gets under your nails and, you know, but that's okay. I like digging around and playing with Mother Earth. Okay, well, I'm going to meet you over there at the budget book. All right, well, I just got back from Aldi's, and I want to show you some of the things I got. I'm not going to show you everything, because that would be boring. I'll just show you some of the things that I feel that are worth telling you about. So they have these high allergen care uh, furnace filters. They were six something. So I got two of those because these are usually way more expensive than that. And I'm not real great at changing the furnace filter, so I got to do better. So I got these fresh face cloths. Now they had them in different colors too, but I chose the black because I figured they won't show the dirt as much. So I got those. Those were $4.99. I got the cooling towels. They come in a little pack that you can take with you. Those were $4.99. So I got one of those. The mushrooms, the sliced mushrooms were, I think they were $1.29. So I picked up some of those. I haven't had fresh mushrooms in a while. Uh, the chive and onion cream cheese spread, I picked that up. To go along with, I bought these wraps, spinach and herb wraps, because uh, I plan on eating a lot of salads, and I figured I could use the cream cheese and the herb wraps, or I could use hummus. I still have hummus. So um, the wraps were three-something, 
and this was $1.99. They had the salad kits on sale, not on sale, but you know, well, I guess they were on sale. It was in, in the um, circular. So I picked up an Italian sub. That was good. I'll use that with the wraps. And that has things in it that I'm not growing in the garden. Cabbage, uh, kale, red cabbage, green onion. So I don't grow those things in my garden. The kale got eaten by something, so I don't know. I, I'm hoping it comes back by fall, but I don't know if it will or not. Um, the grapes were $2.49, so I picked up a pack of those to eat with my yogurt. And then the black cherry ice cream. That was two. Do something. So Aldi's doesn't have a ton of flavors all the time of ice cream, but you can't beat the price. And this is light. So I got that. Now I got to put all this stuff away. So I'll be right back. Bag number two. So um, I bought two of these and I can't remember how much they were. All these, I think, are pretty much, prices aren't that different in different places. I got Italian seasoned croutons and cheese and garlic. I'm just going to mix those together uh, in a mason jar to keep them fresh and eat both of them at the same time in a salad. Um, I also got some more coffee. Of course I did. They had the cherry coffee, the K-Cups, so I got two of those because when they're gone, they're gone. And I also got this uh, wild strawberry drink mix because, like I said, I won't drink enough water, so I have to have a drink enhancer in my water because I don't want to get dehydrated. I also bought this chocolate coconut. I've had that before. It's very good. So I've got enough coffee probably at least till Christmas. And then they'll probably come out with other flavors. And I have, I like to make cold brew. So I picked up a loose coffee. This was $4.19. And I think these coffees, the K-Cups, were 4 29 something like that but I thought this would make a, a really excellent cold brew so I got that almost done I ended up I I spent a hundred dollars um, but I did buy another thing of cashews I like to snack on those and these were 10 something uh, and I also like to eat them on my ice cream with a little bit of chocolate syrup. Just a little bit. I don't like a lot. And then they had, they haven't had this uh, light ranch for a while. So they had it again and I bought two of them. I actually like the light ranch. This is my favorite ranch. And I like the light ranch better than the regular ranch. But I haven't been able to find it until now. I'm almost out of mayo, so I bought some mayonnaise. That way I can make some wraps, some uh, not bacon, tomato, and lettuce wraps, because I have the bacon bits. I bought this dressing strawberry mint vinaigrette. That sounded good to go along with my um, salad kits rather than using the dressing that's in there. And then I can also put that in a wrap. And I bought these, um, bought this Mediterranean olive mix. I love olives. So I got that. That was three something. And this was like two, $2.79, something like that. I don't remember all the prices. And these were each 
uh, butter garlic seasoning. I thought that would be good on a burger or on toast, you know, like a garlic bread type of thing. And then I've never tried this amazing burger, but I figure the next time I make seitan, I can roll it in this. So that was it. That was my Aldi's haul and my Aldi's finds. So I'm happy with that. Oh, one more thing. I picked this up too. It's a pink throw and it goes with the colors on my bed. So I figured, you know, as the weather gets cooler, it'll be nice just to have a little throw. And this was $9.99. So that's it. That is my Aldi's haul and the Aldi's finds. All right, well, so there were things at Aldi's that I wanted to get, but I ended up putting back. I had them in my cart. I had that little uh, mushroom vase which I, I thought was really cute. And, and then I thought, well, you know, you've got a whole closet full of vases. Do you really need another vase? So I put that back. They had a nice uh, oval shaped, about this big acacia wood cutting board. I've got a lot of cutting boards, so I had that in my cart. I put it back. I had some curtain lights. Actually, two packs of those. They were $4.99 a piece, which was a good price, but it, it's like, where are you going to put those? I mean, I could put them on my front window, but I already have some lights there. So I felt like that was a bit of overkill. So I put those back. Um, they had like a water cup with a speaker on top. So, you know, Bluetooth speaker. I had that in my cart. I put that back because I thought, yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> I've got portable speakers, and I thought, you don't need another portable speaker. So I put that back. So my bill would have been quite a bit more, over $100, had I gotten those things. But I was trying to be reasonable with my shopping and not get too much just try and get the things that I was really going to use. So, um, and I didn't want to get a lot of food because I have a lot of food. So I just got things that um, I'm not growing myself. Like I said, those salad kits, they have all kinds of different chopped vegetables in there that I don't grow in my garden. And right now all my lettuce went to seed so I'm just letting that go to seed and I'll gather up the seeds um, or I'll just let them self-seed themselves for uh, the fall, which might happen. So I don't have a lot of lettuce. Um, I'm waiting for the kale to come back if it does. Uh, the chard, you know, you don't have to eat chard when it's this big. You can let it grow and then you chop it up and you saute it and it's delicious. It's, I, I actually like it better than spinach. So um, I could eat the chards as green greens and I also have a lot of uh, radish, not radish, beet tops that I could harvest and also eat. So that's um, something in the way of greens that I could eat. Uh, but mostly I have tomatoes and peppers and um, the zucchini it trickles in. Um, I've had like maybe four-ish zucchini. And I like to pick those when they're small. So, and the cucumbers, those are trickling in. I, I don't have a big, huge bounty from my garden, which that's how I want it. I don't want a lot of extra food that I have to do something with like can or freeze or you know it's kind of, that would kind of defeat the purpose of me trying to cook down 
my freezer and things, but I do want enough to have some summer salads. And if I have to buy lettuce, well, then I buy lettuce. Big deal. So anyway, um, I'm happy with what I got at Aldi's. I don't have any regrets. Um, I'm going to try this cherry coffee in a cold brew, but not today. So, all right. Well, I'll be back later and see what else is up today. It's still early. It's only like 1030 in the morning. I went to all these early and it really wasn't busy at all. There were a lot of employees in there, but hardly any customers. So I don't know, maybe, maybe Thursday morning is a good time to go. They were very, very well stocked. Uh, they had everything and anything. So I'm thinking maybe Thursday mornings is a good time to shop at Aldi's. Um, so, but I'm thinking about getting Instacart and doing that online too. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if Instacart is running any kind of special uh, like Walmart was. Walmart was $48 for a year. And then it's $98 after that. But I don't know if Instacart is running any specials. If you know, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know if, if you have any information on that. So, all right, well, I'll be back. Well, okay then. I'm not going to do the budget book today. Um, I'm thinking about maybe not doing it every day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I don't know, maybe once a week is enough? I don't know, let me know what you think. If it helps you, I'll continue to do it, but if not, then I'll just make adjustments. So, I have to, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I have to go out again. Um, my mom forgot to renew her uh, prescriptions again. <laughs> so I have to go to her house and pick them up for her, which means I won't be home till about, I don't know, 5.30ish or so, and by then I'll be shot. I had a nice day, though. I sat out with my neighbor, and we had coffee and conversation and talked about life and all sorts of things, which is really nice. So, um, but now I have to go finish up the rest of the day, and I know by the time I get home, I won't feel like doing anything, and that's just the way it goes. Um, you know, my, uh, my kid's dad, he was saying that he, he was helping out my son-in-law and daughter yesterday with their big project they've got going on, and, um, I guess he said he overdid it, and now today he he's feeling pretty crappy. And it's like, yeah, I get it, you know. He, he and I are the same age. He's a month older than me. So for a whole month, I can tease him about being an old guy. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, um, we have to take it easy, I guess, when we're older and just accept the fact that we can't do what we used to do. And the thing is, sometimes the downhill slide goes really fast. And um, we have a hard time climbing back up, you know. So it, it is what it is. You know, it's part of aging. And I know a lot of us want to go by that saying, I don't intend to grow, grow old gracefully. I intend to fight it every step of the way, which is fine and dandy, but, you know, uh, it's <laughs> sometimes it can be a real battle. So um, sometimes you just have to accept things the way they are. So, okay, uh, I'm going to get going and... Uh, Go take care of my daughter, daughterly duties and help my mom out. I'll go have a cup of coffee with her and visit with her for a little bit.
and uh, that's going to be my day. So, all right, my friends, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.